guys, so I'm experimenting with videos because I'm not quite sure what you guys uh, like yet. And I'm not quite sure what I like doing yet, but I know I like watching these kinds of videos, so I thought I would do a what's in my bag on a weekend road trip as a person with a disability. Um, most of the stuff you will see is just like any other person, but there are a couple of things um, here and there that I bring uh, because I need them and they might be different to you, they might be the same as every other person, but I don't know. I just thought I would share them. Links to anything I can find will be down in the down bar. So let's get started, shall we? Um, this is just the purse that I brought. Uh, it was from Gordman's about a year ago. I like it because it has all of the um, pockets and it's just really, to, really easy to organize. It, I call it my state's purse just because I seem to go down there a couple times a year and it's like nice to have, you know, one bag where I have all of my wallet and whatever. So, getting into my actual bag, this bag was from Costco about maybe two years ago. Uh, my mom got it for me, I think it was only like $30. Um, but it's bright pink. So I love it and it has, I'll show you guys if I can get in there uh, later, it has zebra print all through the inside and the inside is very washable so I like that if something were to spill it's very easy to clean up. And it's huge guys. So within this bag, I only went for two nights so I brought a white shirt and a black shirt. I think I got these from like Stitches like two years ago. So just basic pieces that you can pair with anything. Uh, and I brought because it's still sort of cold where I am uh, and it was going to be rainy there. Um, I brought just some sweaters and whatever to layer up with. So this is just a blue kangaroo pocket sweater. It, it's comfy, so that's why I like it. These I actually bought in the States at Payless. Uh, these are like those f socks for in, inside your flats uh, because my shoes actually uh, wore down so much that I wore a hole in them, so I had to buy new shoes in the States. But they're just basic black. And they were only $22, so I like that because I walk through a pair of shoes really, really easily. And I think if you have a disability, especially CP, you will know what I mean. So I needed, needed these. On the other hand, I will say, after trying them, because I did buy a second pack and I opened the second pack already, um, I didn't find they really stayed on, stayed on my foot the way that I wanted them to, so... Um, I don't know if I would buy them again, but they work for what I need them to work for. I wouldn't wear them like all day though, because I think I would just be messing with my shoes all day. I brought my iPad and I put it just between everything because it just, you know, more protection. Um, I brought a pair of sweatpants. Uh, these are from Walmart and they have the... Oh, there's a cool little band around them. I like them. But I always think, as a person with a disability, to bring a pair of sweatpants wherever I go, just in case. Like, I knew I was going to be doing a lot of walking. In case my muscles get sore, you know, it, they're just more comfortable. Um, I did bring a pair of jeans, but I'm wearing them, so... Jeans! Love them! Um, I just paired them with everything because, I mean, I was only there for two nights, right? So... Uh, what else is in here? I brought, um, another sweater, and I think this was the one that I was actually wearing on the ride out there. This was just from Superstore, the Joe collection, but it's the most comfortable sweater you guys ever had. It's only probably about three hours for me, so it wasn't uh, a long, long ride, but I also 
like anybody like to wear like really comfy clothes when uh, going on a road trip just because especially with CP I get like really tight and I don't like to feel tight in tight clothes that's just doubly worse. Uh, some of you might know that I have uh, heat issues so I bring a blanket wherever wherever I go because I never know how how thin or thick their blankets will be. I ended up using this one. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. I just like to have it on hand. Um, of course I brought a pair of pajamas. These are cute little ones. I think I got the pants from Gordman's years and years and years ago. And I got the shirt from Walmart like five years ago, so I don't know, just pajamas, they work. Other things that I brought, basic things, um, socks, underwear, mm, in this pocket here, bathing suit in a cute little bathing suit bag, and I like this bathing suit bag because it's um, completely like water resistant, you can put like wet bathing suits in here too. So, I like this one. So, of course, because I went for three days, I brought three sweaters. This one is just basic black. It has some little hearts on it, but they're only noticeable close up, I think. Um, just, you know, easy to throw on, easy to take off, whatever. I was only going shopping for a couple of days, and it was cold. The other couple of things that I brought... Oh! And the most, like, specifically disability-related things that I did bring were uh, magic bags. And these ones, this one looks really, really gross because uh, I've had it for years and years. But these things, if you haven't already seen them or know of them, I'll definitely put a link below to where you can get them for, like, they're reasonably cheap. Um, they are like a miracle worker. Um, they can, you mic them and they'll do like heat and if you put your, um, your cold packs in them, they'll, you know, they'll give you some, it'll be like more of an ice pack. But I find that heat works best for me, so I bring these whenever I go for a weekend or anything just in case my muscles get really really sore and because I was doing a lot of walking they did get sore so I did use them once but if I didn't have them oh I don't know what I would do I if they made a bed that you could just sort of lie on and just have like constant heat pulsing like up through your back that would be like the most awesome thing your back and your entire body. That w I, I would I, I, I think I would just die. I wouldn't need to get out of bed again. Um, but I brought the sort of the more square one. But I think the more versatile one, this is a newer one, is um, this like longer one just because you can like wrap it around like if your hip, your hip is hurting or your, your neck or anything like that. Uh, but I use these uh, not only when I go away, but just in daily life as well, and I love them. So they're worth the 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 money, and they're worth the hype. Please get yourself a magic bag. You are going to love it, and hopefully then you'll love me, and you can subscribe. Oh, I brought a nightlight, and some people might think that this is like babyish of me, but. Especially in like really new places in the dark, like I don't want to trip over something or like whatever. So I bring a nightlight to just, you know, put in the bathroom and then I can sort of at least see where I'm, I'm going. Uh, which is good when you tend to trip over everything. Of course I brought my um, just makeup and toiletries bag. Uh, I won't go through everything that's in there, but I brought that. I brought my iPhone, obviously, but I can't show you that because I'm filming on it. And 
uh, my iPod, which is in this bag somewhere. It's the iPod Classic. It's about six years old. It's an iPod. That is everything that I would pack uh, on a weekend away. I'd like to hear what you guys pack uh, on your weekends away. So um, feel free to leave a comment or if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and um, I'll see you guys soon. All my social media info is down below. Uh, if you'd rather email me, my email will also be down below. So anyway, um, I know this is probably an obscenely long video, so have a great day guys and Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.